video, we're going to discuss how to find ratios of areas. So we're going to start off pretty straightforward here, where let's say I have a parallelogram, altitude of 10, base of 9, and a triangle with a base of 12 and an altitude of 8. And I want to find the ratio of the area of the parallelogram divided by the area of the triangle. All right, so I want to find the ratio of these areas. You are just dividing them. So to do that, I find the area of each one and divide. So the area of this one uh, is we just do base times the height. So I have 9 times 10. And I divide that by the area of the triangle, which is going to be 1 half times the base, which is 12, times the height, which is 8. This gives me 90 divided by 48, which is 15 over 8. Another way to write this is I could say that the area of the parallelograms, the area of the triangle, um, and their areas is a, a ratio of 15 to 8. Okay. Um, now, let's look at a special case, uh, which is the case where we have similar figures. So if I have a similar, two similar triangles, I'm telling you they're similar by angle, 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 and their side lengths are different, uh, then something special is going to happen here. So we're first we're going to start off, we're just going to do it normally. So I'm going to find uh, the area, I want to find the ratios here. So I'm going to do the area of triangle PQR divided by the area of triangle um, uh, WXY. So this is going to be 1 half times base 1 times height 1 divided by 1 half times base 2 times height 2, which the halves cancel out, and I just get base 1 height 1 over base 2 height 2. And uh, then I notice something here. Okay, I notice that, change this into an arrow, I notice that base 1 over base 2 is equal to 3 over 2. And I also notice that uh, height 1 over height 2 is also equal to 3 halves. How do we know this? Well, for these two triangles, they're similar. So anything, any segment that is corresponding and is proportional, that's going to be true for every other segment. So if this side is 4 and this side is 6, and they're proportional by 3 over 2, then if I draw an altitude here and an altitude here, these should also be proportional as well. Okay, So that means that this answer here is just going to be equal to 3 halves times 3 halves, which is equal to 9 over 4, uh, which is simply 3 over 2 squared. Okay, And this is something really cool, because you'd think that, well, if all the segments right, uh, follow the same ratio. Think about it like this. Think about it in, in the case where I just have like a square, right? If this is uh, proportional to another square's side here, and then this is proportional to another square's side here, then it would stand to reason that the areas should also be proportional. But the areas aren't going to be proportional in quite the same amount, right? They can't be proportional by three halves because I do this times this, or I do this times this. So instead of being proportional by three halves, it's going to be proportional by three halves squared, right? Because I'm multiplying, which takes us to a theorem about similar figures. So uh, uh, the theorem here is that if two figures are similar, then the ratio of their areas equals the square of the ratio of corresponding segments. Okay, so looking at example three, right? I have two pentagons here. Um, one of my pentagons has a side length of 12. The other one has a side length of nine. So if I wanna find the area of one over the area of the other, then I can do this by simply saying the area of, let's call this one and two. The area of one over the area of two is simply gonna be, uh, you know, these two sides correspond and I'm told they're similar. So I'm gonna do S1 over S2 squared. So this is just going to be equal to 12 over 9 squared. And 12 over 9 squared comes out to be, uh, you know, if I divide these both by 4, I have 4 over 3 squared, which is equal to 16 over 9. So I can say these ratios are, uh, or these, sorry, areas are, have a ratio of 16 to 9. Okay. Uh, and again, similar logic here. Areas, you know, if the segments are proportional by a certain amount, then the area stands to reason the area will also be proportional by that amount, but the square of it instead, because if you think about like the units, right, like 
This might have units of centimeters. This has units of centimeters. The area has units of square centimeters. So we're squaring uh, the proportions here. Uh, let's look at this example. This one kind of goes in the other direction. So here, uh, I'm given the areas and I'm asked to find the length of the sides. Um, so if you want to give it a try, pause the video, give it a shot. Uh, I'm going to keep going in just a second. So here, we're going to set it up the same way we do for the other ones. I have A1 over A2 is equal to, and I have B1 over B2 squared. But I'm given the areas instead of the bases. So if I do A1 over A2, I know that this is actually going to be, draw a little line and separate this. This is going to be 49 over 121 equals B1 over B2 squared. So if I take the square root of both sides, I get that uh, B1 over B2 is equal to 7 over 11. Okay, And there we go. I now have the ratio of the sides. I don't know for sure that, uh, well, I guess I do. Yeah. So yeah, there we go, ratio of the sides. And then example number five. This is going to be the last one. And this is going to take us to another pretty useful theorem. Let's say I have here, I'm going to switch colors for a sec. Uh, let's draw a triangle. Do something like this. And I'm going to draw another triangle here, like this. Uh, I'm going to say this is M, this is A, this is B, this is C. Uh, and then I'm going to drop down an altitude uh, here. And what I'm going to tell you is I, is I want to find the ratio of uh, the area of triangle uh, ABM to triangle ACM if AM is a midpoint, or I guess not midpoint, if uh, we'll say if AM is a bisector of BC. Okay. So to find this ratio, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to say that this is congruent to this. I'm going to call, we'll switch colors to show that this is my, my work here. Uh, so this is congruent. These two things are congruent. Congruent, congruent. I'm going to call each of these lengths y. Okay, don't know what they are. I'm just going to make something up. And I'm going to call the length of the height of the altitude here. I'm going to call that x. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and just see what happens if I try to calculate it. So I have that the area of triangle ABM divided by the area of triangle ACM. Uh, this is going to give me 1 half times base 1 times height 1 over 1 half times base 2 times height 2. Now my halves cancel out. Those go away. And then I plug in base 1 and height 1. And for my first triangle, base 1 is going to be equal to uh, y. And my second one also has a base of y. And for the altitude, they have the same altitude. So this is going to be you know, the height h1 and h2. It's going to be x. So this is interesting, because now I'm saying, well, look, this is y, this is x. This is why the altitude is going to be the same. It's still x. So these actually are going to, if I divide these, they have the same area because this is just equal to 1. So this is telling me that the area of this triangle is equal to the area of this triangle. And this takes us to our final theorem, which is that a median of a triangle divides a triangle into two triangles with equal areas. So again, if I have a triangle like this, wow, that's a bad triangle. If I let's say eh, my medium median is going to be like that right so let's say that now i have know that these two sides are congruent this area here is going to be equal to this area here so i call that like a1 and a2 a1 is going to be equal to a2 so long as this uh, bisects this segment okay and that's pretty much everything for finding uh, ratios of areas thanks for watching